Okay, to be followed by Lewis MacDonald. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And I start today's speech by referring members to my entry in the Register of Interests in that I'm a registered mental health nurse and currently hold an honorary contract with NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde. There can be no denying that the death of David Ramsey and others in NHS Tayside is anything but a tragedy. I will repeat the phrase that has been said today already, however, it does not diminish its veracity. One suicide is one too many. And I wish to extend my own heartfelt sympathies to Mr Ramsey's family and friends. And to the lost souls of Dundee campaigners, I pay tribute to their tenacity in ensuring that their campaign is rightly being debated in the Scottish Parliament here today. As a mental health nurse of over 30 years, I know all too well of the effects someone's suicide can have on their loved ones. And therefore, I sincerely hope the families present here today are able to find <coughs> some comfort in the months ahead. Presiding officer, I've raised the issue of suicide, and in particular male suicide, on a number of occasions in this parliament. In the same year as Mr Ramsey's passing, another 727 suicides were registered in Scotland, 71% of which were men. Although the suicide rate in Scotland has fallen by 17% over the last decade, and the five-year rolling average shows a downward trend, this is little comfort to those whose family member or friend has already passed away. However, we owe it to them and the others to continue working to ensure that the number of people taking their lives continues to follow. Presiding officer, suicide is not unique to Tayside. Sadly, 44 people took their lives in South Lanarkshire in 2016, a number of whom will have been from my own constituency. However, if his NHS Tayside has been letting down its patients, then it is correct that it is closely looked into. And I therefore welcome the announcement that an independent inquiry into mental health and suicide prevention services across the region has been launched. It is testament to the decisiveness of the new leadership which was installed by the Cabinet Secretary, and I am sure that the Health Board will move in the correct direction under the leadership of John Brown and Malcolm Wright. Within this investigation, the delivery of services at centres like Carsview will be closely examined, and should the report highlight areas for improvement or raise issues where lessons can be learned, then NHS Tayside must make the necessary changes immediately. I sincerely hope for the families who are concerned about mental health and suicide prevention services in NHS Tayside that they will not be let down by this process. However, if they are, they can be reassured the Scottish Government will convert it into an inquiry under the auspices of the Inquiries Act. The families will be anxiously awaiting the conclusions of the NHS Tayside's investigation and I hope time is given to ensure all relevant details are thoroughly scrutinised. I was heartened by the Cabinet Secretary's comments today on Good Morning Scotland that the families are to be at the heart of this inquiry, being involved with its terms of reference and that they should have confidence in its chair. Presiding officer, whilst this investigation is underway, I do feel it worthwhile to point out that Scottish Government and health agencies have already been looking into concerns regarding mental health services in NHS Tayside. The Mental Welfare Commission for Scotland carried out an unannounced inspection of Carsview in November and made a number of recommendations uh, regarding their care planning, the availability of responsible medical officers, and whilst Health Improvement Scotland carried out a similar examination in December 2017. Of course, more widely, Scottish Government have published a 10-year mental health strategy and the new Suicide Prevention Action Plan will be published soon. I'm incredibly proud that as a mental health nurse, governments, politicians, health services and the public are beginning to see mental health as being equal to that of physical health. However, we are not there yet and we must all continue to work together until tragic deaths like that of Mr Ramsey are a thing of the past.